Let's make curry fish in a camp oven. One of the easiest meals to cook when camping and caravanning is doing a tray bake. You can do your tray bake in your oven in your caravan, um, if you're lucky enough to have one like we are, or you can do it in a camp oven or a Dutch oven. So today we're going to do a fish tray bake and we're going to do it in our spun steel camp oven. See you soon. Hi, welcome back. We're going to do a tray bake today, a fish tray bake as I said before. Um, there's a couple of different uh, ways you can do it. As I was saying, you can do it in your uh, oven in your caravan and to do that you can use something like this, which is a falconware enamel um, baking tray. But it won't fit in my, um, my camp oven. If you had an oval shaped camp oven it might fit but it won't fit in my round camp oven. But that's all right, I've got something else that's going to work. So don't tell the wife, but I've stolen uh, this out of our home kitchen. And this is uh, really a cake tin that goes inside an air fryer. So what I like about this is that it's got a handle and the handle means that it'll be easy to take out of the camp oven. Um, and being round it'll fit uh, in the bottom of my camp oven on top of the trivet um, and it'll fit very well. So at the moment we've got the, um, the heat beads uh, lit there in the heat bead chimney there cool, uh, warming down and we'll get those out shortly but there's a little bit of prep work still to do. So I've done some prep work already, I've got um, red onions and what I've done with the red onions, what I've done with the red onions is I've actually quartered them or segmented them rather than, um, than uh, slice them and I think that'll work very well. I've got some yellow capsicum, we call them capsicum in Australia, you might call them uh, bell peppers uh, but they're the same thing. I've got a couple of beautiful pieces of salmon. Um, I've got cherry tomatoes and we've got things like uh, garlic and uh, ginger and uh, yes of course I've got um, curry paste uh, I do a lot of curry recipes and um, and some um, uh, what's this stuff called again coconut cream of course one of the reasons I like using salmon like this is it's uh, we buy it frozen but it comes already packed in these little packs and it just means that it's really easy to fit into your freezer uh, in the caravan or in your uh, car fridge freezer as well. So I would keep it uh, frozen uh, on the way to the campsite and then probably the day before I'd pull it out, put it on a, um, um, a little plate, put it in your fridge to thaw out and then um, obviously it needs to be thawed out in room temperature before we use it. But that's one of the last things we're going to we're going to put on. So I'm just going to put that aside for the for the moment. Go back in there. And the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to de-seed the um, the yellow capsicum. So I've got a little paring knife here. These are little scan pan um, spectrum knives. They're very very sharp. And what I do is I don't cut it that way. Is I slice it around the edge like that so I'm basically slicing the top off being careful not to slice my finger at the same time and if I do it properly what will happen is I can pull that complete um, out there and there's very very few seeds left in there so I'll just um, I've got a garbage bag here somewhere here we go I'll put this in the garbage bag Just put that out of the way and I'll do the other one while I'm here. As I'm saying, just cutting around that core and most of the seeds should pop straight out when I'm pulling that out. See, most of them are coming out. Now 
There's a few little ones in there, but not, not a hell of a lot. Just chuck those on the grass. It's Tilly's down here, it's Tilly's down here supervising, good on your Tilly. Um, we're just going to cut this into two centimetre chunks. And cut out this white bit in the middle. You see there's a couple of seeds left there, but not a hell of a lot. Put those back in the garbage bag. They'll go into the compost. Then basically because we're doing a tray bake, we want to have some substance there. So we actually want these to be a reasonable size. So I'm just going to cut those into three. Nice and chunky. And this one as well, I can still take that off. So there's some really good chunks there, uh, which will really give that um, that curry a little bit of that um, tray bake some substance. And I'll put those in there, and I'll do the same with this one. That's all. That's all done with the capsicum. They're so fresh. They're um, so juicy. They're so crunchy. I love them. They're great. And the other thing I'm doing is I'm just going to take the skin off the fish. You certainly want the skin on the fish if you're uh, barbecuing or frying the fish. Uh, there's nothing nicer than crispy skin. But uh, when you're doing a tray belt like this, the skin's not going to crisp up at all. It's just going to be soggy. So I think we should get rid of it. And the best way to do that according to YouTube, YouTube's your friend of course, is to hold um, this 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 way hold this the um, salmon down and press it very firmly and just slice it very very carefully with a very sharp knife along the skin and it should come off pretty well might have a little bit of skin left on there, but it will still be okay, I think. Uh, it's not too bad. There's still a little bit here. We'll get that rid of, rid of that, and we'll come back to it in a sec. There's still a little bit of skin on there, but uh, quite frankly, I'm just going to leave it on. I'm not a, uh, an expert on filming fish or anything like that, so we'll just do the best we can. And I'll do the same with the smaller piece of fish as well. We don't have a fishmonger um, where we live in the, in the village um, in the central western New South Wales in Australia but we have a, a butcher and the butcher has um, fish for sale in his fridge as well. Frozen fish. Which is very very handy. We're um, about three or four hours drive from the coast so we're not going to get um, fresh fish every day. Oh that's much better that one. Still got a little bit on. Let's see if I can get that off. No, I'm just going to mash it up if I do. Right, I'll leave that for the time being. Uh, come back and we'll start on the um, the camp oven, getting that all, um, all um, heated up and start to cook. Won't be long. So the reason we're using the trivet is we really want to control the heat on the bottom. With the fish we want to minimise the stirring of the dish. We really want the fish to bake and stay whole.
My apologies for the road noise in the background. Unfortunately, we're filming in our backyard. We couldn't get out uh, to a campsite at that stage. And um, But I do like the birds chirping in the background. And Tilly's obviously having a great time running around as well. Tilly's now 12 months of age. So the camp oven's nice and hot here. And we'll... Um, start to add the first couple of ingredients. First thing is ginger and we'll put about half a teaspoon of that. Next thing we've got is crushed garlic. Like a lot of garlic, so we're going to put two teaspoons of that. And the next is that uh, chopped red onion. Next thing we've got is that uh, a yellow capsicum. A lot there. And I'm just going to give it a good stir around. Just mix all those flavours together. And I'll put the lid back on. Put some coals on the top. The general rule of thumb with cooking with camp ovens has twice the amount of heat on the on the top of the oven as you have underneath. There are twice as many heat beads on the top. We'll just let that cook away and give it a really good stir every so often. I'll just check the camp oven and see how those um, veggies are going in there. Yeah, these are starting to soften nicely, which is good. I think we've almost got too much um, capsicum there, but I'm not going to take it out a bit, I suppose. <clears throat> so I got this recipe from a supermarket magazine. Um, quite often, you know, the freebie ones you get at the supermarket has all the recipes in it, and uh, sometimes they're uh, pretty good. Those recipes, sometimes they're they're not the best. Uh, it's suggested that you use curry powder. Uh, I couldn't find any korma curry powder. I used to have some, but I've used it all up. Um, so I've only got really spicy curry powder. So I'm just going to replace the powder with korma curry paste, uh, which will work just as well. Just be careful you don't burn your fingers like I just did. I suppose this pot's really not ideal, but it's doing the job, and that's the main thing. I 
I'll add the tomatoes in now and I'll make sure I don't burn my finger this time Make sure when you put the lid back on the uh, camp oven that uh, it's on properly. It's not um, sitting up on one side because all the all the um, goodness will escape out and the heat will escape out as well. This is a sort of um, dinner that I like cooking uh, when we're cam caravanning camping with friends. And one of the reasons for that is you can sort of put it on and leave it alone and it'll just cook nicely by itself. Uh, probably better than if you keep going in there and lifting the lid and checking it out all the time which means that you can enjoy a happy hour uh, nibblies and everything with your uh, campmates or even walk around and talk to people and that's I think one of the um, favorite parts of camping is really um, spending time with your friends I love the colours uh, there of the yellow of the capsicum and the red of the um, of the tomato. Very nice. The second last ingredient: coconut cream. Could use coconut milk I suppose but the reason I like using coconut cream is it's creamier obviously And we'll whack that in and give it a good stir up. Bit of a pain with coconut cream because it has all that water on the bottom and then the creamy stuff on the on the top and you've got to get it all out. Give it a bit of a swish around. In an ideal world, the um, tray baked tray would be um, wider and lower, I suppose. Um, and certainly, if you're going to do it in the oven in your caravan or something, you would do that. Uh, but anyway, you've got to do what you've got to do. I could have done this in the camp oven without uh, this particular thing. What do you call it? This little inner pot. Uh, would have worked okay. Just going to be easier to get that out, that's all. And certainly um, cleaning up the camp oven will be a lot easier as well. Oh, still hot. So when you're caravanning camping, do you like to eat curry? Let me know in the comment below. So the final step is the fish and we're just going to lay the salmon on top of the tray bait and it'll just cook uh, in the camp oven. So what will happen is the steam from the curry sauce um, combined with the heat on the top of the camp oven will help to cook the fish.
Basting the fish with curry sauce will add flavour to it as well. I shot this video before my total knee replacement surgery, that's why I'm really hobbling around. I've now had the knee uh, replacement surgery about six weeks ago and I've had a chance to edit some videos. So the salmon cooked really nicely and we served it up on a bed of brown rice and of course all the colours of the tomato and the capsicum and the red onions and the bits and pieces have really added to uh, the look of the and feel of the dish as well. Well I'm pretty happy with that. If you liked the videos please give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below and subscribe to the channel. This is Dennis from Caravan Cooking. Thanks for watching.